Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, so I'm going to try and keep this relatively quick. It's a little noisy in here. I had planned originally to do some guitar work for you today. Give you a sense of what I've been working with and some of the issues I've been having. But to be 100% honest with you, I've got the air conditioning on and it's loud. And uh, I would prefer not to uh, compete with it. And I don't want to turn it off because frankly, I'm, I'm hot. Um, so it's good to talk to you all. Um, it has been a wild ride of late. Um, I have been in deep financial trouble, and I'm not afraid to say that. Um, just work has not been there. And as a result, I have been doing GoFundMe and pushing this place and selling stuff and just generally working the, the whole struggle bus in terms of money. That is changing. Um, I have accepted for the first time in 18 years a full-time job. Um, not crazy about it. Not super happy about it. Um, it's a good job. I like what I'm seeing. I, I, I think it sounds good. Uh, I will be the training coordinator for a small social services agency that provides direct care to developmentally disabled and autistic adults um, throughout the northern Worcester County. It's a little bit of a commute. Pittsburgh every day. <clears throat> but it's the kind of work I like doing, and uh, I'm excited about that. Um, does mean I'm giving up a whole bunch of stuff that has actually allowed me to be pretty directly uh, creative. Uh, I'm not going to have as much time during the day to think and write and work and play guitar and stuff, so I'm going to have to like, compress my time around that. Uh, but uh, I'm going to try and make it work, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> I'm also still keeping an eye open for the alleged Patreon changes that are coming up. And quite frankly, if they come up as I expect them to come up based on the hints, I'm going to be putting a lot more of my time, social media time, and general performance and, and literary time, into this site. Um, I'm going to step away from Facebook quite a bit. I'm going to just work very hard on doing the work here. Uh, I'll still maintain the blog out on WordPress, but I think you will see more exclusive work here. You will certainly see more performances. I'm holding off on creating more workshops, etc., until I have a better sense of what life looks like. So you won't see those for a bit. Same thing with um, any live show performance type stuff on uh, on here, uh, like I, I, like my something borrowed, something loose stuff is going to have to wait a little bit. I have a couple of thoughts lined up, but uh, we'll see. There is a podcast coming that I will be part of. A lot more on that when it's ready to go. Um, as part of my work with the Shauna Shea Foundation, I will be participating in a podcast that's mostly going to be about movies and films, but uh, is going to include some connection to poetry. I've already recorded a couple of slots for it, so we'll uh, we'll see how that goes, and I will certainly keep you posted when that comes up. It won't be hosted here. It'll be out in the wonderful world of the web and, po and podcasting. Uh, so that'll be happening as well. Still running my promotion. Uh, the manuscript is essentially done. I have some you know work on forward and acknowledgments and preface and coming up with a cover for it. Um, High Wind Poems is going to be the name of it. Um, and um, we'll see what that's like. I'm taking a momentary break from it as I sort of settle these other parts of my life. But once I hit $1,000 in donations a month, I will be uh, releasing that free to all members of the Patreon community here. Uh, and after that, I'll start figuring out how to sell it, make some money from selling it. Uh, I, I hate to keep talking about money, but money's important. Uh, it, it, it's the the juice that keeps me running, so to speak. Um, without performances, I do have a couple of feature performances, tomorrow night being one. Uh, great weather for media. Uh, I will be doing the 10-minute feature on Wednesday, uh, which is fun. I, I went to it last week. Um, it's virtual. It's on Zoom. You can find the link to it on Facebook. Uh, but if you look up great weather, weather for medium, you have to buy tickets ahead of time. Buying tickets just means going and signing up. There's no fee for this. And I'll be doing about a 10-minute feature, um, which is interesting. Interesting to sort of figure out how to compress that. 
uh, compress what I usually do in a half an hour into uh, just a few short poems. So I'll be looking forward to that. I've also got work in Worcester coming up um, fairly soon. Uh, we've got some publications coming up, and I will be doing my first show in New York City in like five years. Uh, in September, I will keep you posted as to what that looks like. And uh, boy, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I haven't been in New York in a hot minute. And, uh, to go down there and do a show in the Bronx is always a good thing for me because I love it there. Uh, so I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, that's the basics of what's going on. Um, I think I'll do a poem for you. I'm not sure which one. Uh, recent stuff. I've been working a lot with shorter poems. This is one. Inventing Red. Just for once, imagine that Red was out there as if you did not know what Red was. And you would have to invent it to describe the chirp of some unseen red bird or the glimpsed lining in an open human mouth. Hints of open flame and embers, and of course, most unseen, a racing heart. Wouldn't you say what you see will be as red as any of those, as all of those, and in spite of any lack of precedent, would you not know at once that these were the sounds of red? Words make our world. Um, I really, truly believe that. There's a lot of evidence that the words and how you put them together and what, how things are described affects your mental state uh, in various cultures and languages and a lot of studies on that. So that was one of the things that I was thinking about when I was working with this. Um, a lot of my poems have been pretty dark lately, and I, I'm not crazy about that. But we'll do one. Uh, I'll do one more for you. It is no, I don't think it's any shock to anybody that I have some issues with Christianity. Um, I'll just leave it at that. This is called Dominion. At first, people couldn't tell the difference, the desert, the woods, the seas. Everywhere they looked, they saw themselves. If they weren't sure who was who, they asked. And whatever another said they were, they accepted. It wasn't hard to know what to do after that. They all got along as well as rocks and riverbed or trees in a forest. This was what we knew to be true. Every being was an extension of all the others, as if the term the others had anything to do with it, beyond spatial reference. They were there, we were here, and this was that. It was only later the trouble began. There were some who came along after who were different. When they were asked who was who, they seemed to know something unacceptable. But there was no precedent for unacceptable, so people tried to accept, even if it meant distinguishing difference they'd never seen. They said, here is what is acceptable. We call it dominion, and we will store it in this thing we call a church. You will need to come here to be accepted. Well, we said, we will come to see, but what's in there is out here. Ask anyone, desert, rain, forest, snow, sea, any one of us will tell you the same. We aren't listening, they said. Fingers in their ears, somehow at the same time, axes and shovels in their hands. No wonder it's so hard for them to hear now over all that dominion. A lot of my poems of late have felt this sort of like weird, tenuous connection to sense. Um, this is one where I know that it's there, that the connection back to actual sensory details is there, but it feels a little off to me, and I think that's okay. I, I don't think it's a problem that it's off. Um, if you have to struggle a little bit for the language, to connect to the reality, then I think sometimes that's okay. Maybe we can do one more.
Not that one. No, not that one. These are all from the first week of July of this year. Yeah, we'll do this. This is an old one from 2005 that I revised, and it's so revised it's a different poem. I ride this world as if Ganesh himself had placed me on his back. I will fall as I have risen, and I am content. I do wish I was nothing again, just my parents' desire, strong enough to come forth and be, too weak to be more than that. I was wish I was nothing again, for nothing is worth saving. Nothing sits in the doorway and thinks before taking a step either way. Some of you understand this. A leaf, a tree falls, the elephant straightens. A leaf falls, the tree lifts itself higher. What will happen if I fall? Nothing, I pray. Nothing at all. It's a weird one, I know that, and I apologize for that, but it's kind of the weird sense-nonsense territory I find myself in of late. Um, with that in mind, I think we're going to call it here. Um, more to follow, and uh, please stay in touch. Thank you for your support, and uh, pass the Patreon on to other people. I appreciate it, and uh, 